Let's delete everything in the scene and open the add menu by pressing shift and A at the same time. Let's choose plane from here. Let's delete the three dots and leave only one dot. Let's say set origin to geometry from the object menu. Selection to cursor by pressing shift and S at the same time. In this way, our point goes exactly to the origin point. Let's add the skin and subdivision modifiers from the modifier list of our point. Let's model the trunk of the stylized tree by extruding our point with the E key. Let's adjust the thickness by pressing the Ctrl and A keys at the same time. Let's get into wireframe mode by pressing Alt and Z and see the spots we can't see. I edit by pressing Ctrl and A at the same time to avoid distortions. Let's open proportional editing by pressing O. In this way, the rotation process we do will also affect the places within the circle. You can adjust the size of the circle with the mouse wheel. I am trying to model tree branches.
Let's apply the skin modifier. Without confirming the subdivision modifier, let's delete the surface at the bottom of the tree and select the remaining edge loop and press S and Z the same to set its scale on the Z axis to 0. Let's get rid of the edges that appear on the tree trunk by making a shade smooth. Let's open proportional editing by pressing O and select one of the points or edges in the middle of the tree. Let's rotate it to get a more natural image. Let's make the tree branches more natural by choosing the random option with very little rotation. Let's open the Add menu by pressing Shift and A at the same time and select the plane. We will create our leaves with this plane. Let's make loop cuts by pressing Ctrl and R. Let's set the number of loop cuts with the mouse wheel. Let's scale on the Y axis by pressing S and Y at the same time. Let's extrude with the E key. Let's scale on the Y axis with the S and Y keys. Let's select all of them by pressing the A key and write 0 by pressing the S and Z keys the same. This way they will all have the same height. If you click an edge with Alt and left mouse click, the edge selects the loop. I forgot to deselect edge loops. I'm going back with Ctrl Z. I make shade smooth with mouse right click. I scale them on the Y axis by selecting them with A and pressing the S and Y keys at the same time. I open the add menu by pressing the shift and A keys at the same time, and I add an eco sphere from here. I scale it up a bit and get it up on the Z axis. When eco sphere is selected, I set the display as setting from the weave port display options from the object properties menu to wire because soon we will add a particle system inside this icosphere. This is how we do it to see the particles. We add a particle system to icosphere. We set the frame start and end values to zero. We're taking the physics part to none. We select the object from the render section and choose our leaf as the object. We set the emit from value in the source section to volume.
we choose a value between 0.5 and 1 of the scale randomness value. We open the rotation from the rotation menu. We choose the randomized value between 0.4 and 0.6. We create a material for icosphere. We set blend mode to alpha clip from the setting menu. We set the alpha value to zero. In this way, the icosphere becomes invisible and the leaves become visible in the render. We change the wire setting to textured again. We form a material on the leaf. We create a material for its body. Let's copy the icosphere and place the tree leaves where the branches are. Let's open the Add menu by pressing the Shift and A key and create a plane for the ground. Let's create a camera. From the View menu, click on the Camera to View option. In this way, the camera will come to the place we see in the viewport. Let's switch to the camera view by pressing the zero key from the numpad. Let's find the best result by trying the particle system values. I'm setting up a very simple lighting.
I find the best results by experimenting with the colors and strengths of the lights. You can change the leaves and tree trunk color as you wish. If your scene is dark, you can make it bright by changing the color value from the world menu. Thanks for watching. You can support me by subscribing. If you have questions, I answer all comments. Don't forget to try it and send it to me on Instagram.